Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at the 10 most dangerous prisons in the world. Prisons are not a fun place to be. They can be very dangerous and as an inmate there's no guarantees you'll make it out unscathed. Well these prisons are the worst of the worst and they're the most dangerous prisons in some of the most dangerous countries too. And the last prison involves things you could never imagine in your wildest dreams or nightmares, so stay tuned. But first why not press the subscribe button and the bell button too. Coming in at number 10 we have Bang Quang. This prison is located in Thailand, but it's actually known as the prison with the most foreign inmates inside. This is because a lot of people who have smuggled illegal goods into Thailand are sent here. It's maximum security and only holds the toughest of the tough. So the prison is bad, but they have a unique schedule for any new inmates that make their lives awful. For the first four months of an inmate's sentence, they wear shackles around their ankles. Now of course that is bad, but it's even worse if you're on death row. If you're waiting to have your life taken by a prison guard, then you have to wear iron shackles welded your legs. As the prison is so bad, this is the case for 10% of all prisoners at Bang Quang. This is because the one requirement of Bang Quang is you need to be in there for at least 25 years. Those who are in the prison are given one bowl of rice and one bowl of vegetables a day. A cafeteria also exists in the prison for inmates to buy extra food, but pretty much no one has any money thanks to all the ceiling. And the food in the cafeteria would make your school's cafeteria look like a 5 star restaurant. The prison is very overcrowded and holds 35 times more people than it was built for. Many prisoners have diseases thanks to the unclean and dangerous conditions. And worst of all, there is no functioning sewer system. Next up is Patak Island. One country with a reputation for danger in prisons is Russia. In fact, they have some of the worst prisons in the world, left over from the Soviet era. The interesting thing about this prison is the mystery behind it. Not many people who aren't prisoners have been there, as it's totally isolated. It's located on an island in the middle of a lake named White Lake, which is in a snowy environment in the middle of nowhere, making escape impossible. It's maximum security and is known as the very worst prison in all of Russia. So, the inmates are totally isolated from the outside world, but also from each other while inside the the jail. They're kept for over 20 hours a day in solitary confinement. The lake the island's located on happens to be one of the top 10 largest lakes in Europe, but that's for another video. Most prisoners are not allowed any visitors, but the best inmates are only allowed two visits a year. There aren't many facilities including basics, such as running water and decent food. And there's also no heating, which isn't usually in prisons. Well, it's far worse here because the average temperature is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. But in the winter, it can fall to as low as minus 40 degrees, which is well below freezing. Scientists say this could reduce a person's lifespan dramatically, and many prisoners do in fact pass away thanks to freezing inside this Russian prison. If you already thought that Russia was one tough country, this prison surely proves it. Next up is Rikers Island. This prison is likely a little closer to home for most of you guys watching. This prison island is located in New York, USA. The reason I call it a prison island and not just a prison is because Rikers Island is actually an island with 10 prisons built onto it. The prisons combined hold over 12,000 inmates, all on one very dangerous island. They say crime in New York City has been cleaned up, but it seems they just moved all the crime to this one island. There are many cases of assault and even people taking each other's lives. And this goes for the prison guards as well as the prison inmates. There's even fighting events that sometimes take place that put prisoners head to head. This was allowed by two prison guards and when people found out, the guards found themselves in prison thanks to their crime. The guards were often criticised for using excessive force and there's been many cover-ups and complaints that were destroyed. But the guards aren't the only thing to fear on this island. In the prisons are many gangs and if you're not in a gang, you're screwed, so no one is safe. Yeah, it's probably best to skip this place on your next trip to the Big Apple. Next up is Gitarama. We all know Rwanda is a country with a bad history. There was a terrible war that took over the country, tore it apart and took millions of lives. The war has since ended, but the violence is kept alive in Gitarama Central Prison. It's a small prison built for a few with little funding or resources. However, it holds thousands of inmates who are kept in the worst conditions imaginable. Most prisoners pass away either due to starvation or diseases, which run through the entire prison. Some inmates have been known to take the lives of other inmates and then eat them to stay alive. It sounds like something from a horror movie, but that unimaginable stuff comes to life at this prison. What's odd about the prison is there's no cells, as the prisoners sleep under beds, on the floors or in the hallways. It was originally built for 500 inmates, but now holds 4,000, making the prison insanely overcrowded. That's five times more than how many it should hold, which shows why this prison is so riddled with problems. Some say this is the worst prison in Africa, as it's got such tough conditions. I know the prisons we've looked at on this list have been bad, but at least people weren't eating each other inside them. Next up is La Sante. France is a country known for many things. Amazing food, great tourist destinations, and the city of love. Well, hidden inside Paris, the city of love is something not very lovely at all. Unbeknownst to the tourists, hidden in the heart of Paris is La Sante Prison. The prison opened in 1867 and is known as one of Europe's worst prisons. 
French prisons have a reputation for being very excessive when it comes to force, and this prison is no exception. It's said to be the worst in France and has been for a while. During World War II, it held war prisoners who were very badly treated as well as regular prisoners. Not only is this prison nasty on the inside, it's nearly impossible to break out of. It's nicknamed the Impenetrable Fortress by some as it's so hard to escape from. After two gangsters named Jacques Messerine and Francois Bessé escaped a while back, the prison went into full lockdown mode and built extra walls and wiring everywhere. The prison is a very large complex, but it's still very crowded and only has basic facilities. In recent years, many protests have occurred outside the prison to shut it down. However, the government are proposing increasing the prison's funding, so it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. Next up, we have Tadmor. When it comes to dangerous countries, Syria is definitely up there right now. It's being controlled by IS a lot and is literally a battle zone. However, this prison, which is located in the harsh Syrian desert, is not somewhere anyone would want to go. Both political prisoners and regular prisoners are sent here for long periods of time. They live in torturous conditions, figuratively and literally. The place was so bad it closed down in 2001. However, it had to be reopened in 2011 as there were too many prisoners at other prisons. Inside, the guards can do whatever they want, including severely mistreating the inmates. There's also a lot of maltreatment amongst inmates. This is because there's nothing for the inmates to do there, as there are no books, TV, or radio. Most American prisons at least have a gym or recreational area, but this prison doesn't even have that. Tadmor makes Alcatraz look like a five-star resort due to how awful the conditions here are. It's being called insane and wild by people who have visited there, and if those reviews are anything to go by, I suggest you avoid this prison at all costs. Seeing as you can no longer fly into Syria, that just got a little easier. Next up is Gladani. This prison is located in Georgia, which of course was a Soviet state during the time of the USSR. A few years back, there was a massive scandal at this prison after security footage was leaked of inmates being severely abused by guards in the worst ways imaginable. The footage gained worldwide exposure, which led to guards being arrested and the prison being given more resources. However, inmates today say that problems still occur at this prison. It's very cramped and holds far more prisoners than it was built for. The prison is also known as the most secure prison in the entire country of Georgia. It has four huge barbed wire fences and watched posts everywhere which were always manned by armed guards. Some inmates say that guards who use excessive force still work in the prison even if it has got a little better. It seems no matter how much funding or resources this prison gets, it's always going to be one of the most brutal. Like Russia, George is also known as a tough country, and this is definitely reflected in their prisons. Next up, we have Cotonou. Benin is a small country in West Africa, and there's only a few prisons there. However, this is the biggest and worst prison in the entire country. It was built for 400 people, however, it holds 2,400 men and women in the prison. Many prisoners suffocate while sleeping, thanks to there being so many people. Because of this, prisoners usually sleep in shifts, making living conditions pretty darn bad. Over 90% of prisoners are just awaiting trial, but it takes years thanks to their old judicial system. The conditions are terrible for the inmates as the country has very little money, as does the prison. Most prisoners pass thanks to diseases, which could be easily preventable with medicine. However, as the country doesn't have enough money or resources, this means medicine is scarce. And the fact that men and women go into the same prison here is not a good thing. Next up is La Sabaneta. Venezuela is often thought of as a dangerous place. The streets have really been cleaned up recently, however it's where the criminals are that's super dangerous. The most dangerous prison housing the most dangerous prison inmates in Venezuela is La Sabaneta prison. It was described by the former president of Venezuela as a portal to hell. It's understaffed and underfunded and is pretty much run by gangs. Those who aren't in a gang are unprotected and no trouble is around every corner. It's also very overcrowded and unless you're a gang top dog you likely won't get a cell. Riots are very regular, and during them, many inmates and guards' lives are taken. Last year alone, almost 600 lives were taken in the prison, and in 2013, some prisoners managed to steal a lot of guards' rifles and then turn on the guards after they took 16 lives in one week. They stole 22,000 rounds of ammo, rifles, and built underground tunnels to escape from. Most were caught and put back in prison, but the tunnels still exist and are used to sneak things into the prison. One thing's for sure, this prison is very unsafe for the guards just as much as the prisoners. Next up is Diyarbakir. This place is one of the few maximum security prisons in Turkey. It opened in 1980 and has been known ever since as the worst prison in the country. Regular inmates are kept along with political prisoners. It's very overcrowded and there's so much brutality here, blood is on the walls. The guards are often so brutal they'll end up causing inmates to pass away. And many inmates actually set themselves on fire to escape from the evil guards. But there's something that makes this prison unique, which is not on any other prison on this list. That is, that children are sent to this prison. Over 400 boys and girls aged 13 to 17 are inside this terrible prison along with the adults. So if you're a teenage troublemaker, it's probably best to avoid Turkey. They say all kids go through a phase of being bad, but I hope this is not the case in Turkey, or the number of kids behind bars here might increase from 400. But honestly, this is really wrong, and many petitions have unsuccessfully tried to stop it. The prison is still in operation today, and young kids are still locked up there. 
check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the worst person on this list. And be sure to check out my second channel, The Crafty. There'll be a crafty video coming up on screen in a second, so click it and please subscribe too. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.